Guys, slow or fast, it doesn't matter. One opportunity a day, guys, we can't afford to miss one deal. Do you guys see me training? I can go pull up a YouTube video. I can pull up the dealer training platform. You can go watch me teach you and train through the video. You guys are watching me live. Do I seem confident? Am I afraid? No. Do I have the words tattooed on my heart? Am I envisioning the negotiation in advance? Am I predicting the outcome of the conversation before the conversation was even had? Number one, am I a closer? Yes, I am. Am I applying pressure? Yes, I am, but it's very low. You can't feel it. Am I wanting him to go in the direction that I want him to go in? Yes, I am. Am I pressuring him to do it? Listen, if you don't buy this right now, I'm gonna tell you inventory is low, it may not be here tomorrow. No guys, that's a bad move. Some of you guys are still staying that stupid okay? I know it's the truth. You don't always need to tell that, okay? There's a better way to sell. Are you telling or are you selling? And by the way, are you closing? I might have sold you the RV, right? Sold it, but I didn't close you on it to buy it now. That's the difference, right? So what I want is when these objections come up, I want you to see the way that I navigate and the way that I work. This is the same way that I would work if I was selling with you and I was your closer as an RV dealer, right? Imagine if I was your closer. You're going out, you get them excited, you get them fired up, and I just come in and go Whoosh! and make sure that they buy it. It'd be cool. That's what I want to do with you. You've been doing it a year and a half. When you don't close something, it eats you alive. Am I right? Yep. I mean, it pisses you off. But guys, slow or fast, it doesn't matter. One opportunity a day. Guys, we can't afford to miss one deal. We, guys, listen to me. If you miss a deal, it should eat you alive. You should go to sleep at night with nightmares. Okay, because I want to explain something. You're better than that, okay? And as I grabbed you, you're like, oh shit. Let me ask you a question. Now that you're up here, I grabbed you. We've gone through the process and it's over with. Do you feel better about getting up here? See that? That's fucking training right there. Okay, listen. All right, hey, you did a good job too. You did a good job. I want to tell you something with him. Did he agree with me that the miles are high? Listen, I get the logical deal, right? Like he's like, yeah, sir, the miles are high. So what? You drove in here on the ad and knew that before you came in. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Right now is the time to take yourself to a whole new level. Listen, the market is going to demand you to get more skill right now than you've ever needed to have. And if you do, not only will you become great, but you're going to make more money than you ever imagined. I would love to talk to you. Tell me what you need help with text me right now if you see on the screen my cell phone number is 918-210-0254 let me say that again 918-210-0254 shoot me a text message tell me what you need help with I'll reach out and call you let's take you to the next level let's get back to the video ah oh, I just think there's a better way does that make sense Okay, everybody understand this. Some of your managers are like, just be logical with them. Just tell them, you know the miles are high, agree with them. Guys, I'm not gonna agree with them. My goal is to influence and persuade them that the miles aren't high. Let's look at it from my perception. Actually, they're extremely low and it's a highly rated vehicle, right? Look, I'm gonna ask you this. Is this 1999 or is this 2022? 2022, so I can understand in 1999 how the miles too high was a real objection. But due to the way things are built now, would you agree times have changed, people have changed, technologies have changed, right? These, these vehicles are rated to run a half a million miles. If they weren't, you wouldn't be looking at it, right? So what does it matter whether it's got 50 or 80? Does it really matter? How much can you save? You like saving, right? If I grabbed a thousand out of your pocket, would you be upset right now? But if I put 10 grand back in it, would you be happy? That's what we're gonna do with this car. You feel me? Now all of a sudden, this one looks like it's a pretty nice truck. The miles are right all of a sudden when they were wrong a minute ago. Do you guys see you have the ability to get people to see things from your perspective? Everybody say, say this, get people to see things from my perspective. Get people to see things is that your job? Yes. Okay, how do you change somebody's reality? Create a new reality. Whose reality are you gonna live in? The reality that they're creating during the car deal or the new reality that you're gonna create that you're gonna get them to live in? Did we create a new reality? I just did. But going and agreeing and then just telling them that it's cheaper, you're just giving me some basic information and facts. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for a close.